Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. Try to make yourself at home here, because the mind needs a home. If it doesn't have a home here, it goes wandering around outside, exposed to all kinds of things, the heat of the sun, the cold of the rain. If you think of it as being like a little child, strangers come and offer it candy, might get run over by a car. All kinds of dangers can happen to the mind if it doesn't have a good place to stay right here. In other words, it starts going out into its thought worlds. And those worlds can be designed by greed, they're designed by anger, designed by delusion. And in the beginning they seem nice, but as with so many worlds, they, they turn on you. So come in here. Here's a safe home. Stay with the breath coming in, the breath going out. This is your territory. So you're perfectly free to decorate your home any way you like. to rest here, to work here. This is a good place to stay. But it requires that you work with the breath first, because the breath of all the elements in the body is the most responsive to the mind and the easiest to change. You can change from in-breath to an out-breath very quickly. Short, long, fast, slow, heavy, light. It's like decorating your home. You can try all different kinds of color combinations, ways of arranging the furniture, and making sure the furniture is comfortable, both for the body and for the mind. Sometimes the body likes very subtle breathing, but if it's too subtle for the mind to follow, then you've got to make some adjustments. Heavy breathing may be easy to follow, but it's not good for the body, so you've got to learn how to get the mind and the body to agree. Well, what's the best kind of breath for right now? Maintain that as long as it feels good, and then change it when it doesn't anymore. When the mind has a good place to settle right here, then it can relax. Because all too often it, it's like it's jumping around, and it knows that the worlds it creates are going to fall in on it, so it has to be prepared to jump at any time. So it's constantly tense. But this is your place. This is your space. to make it a good place to be. Then you can start asking questions inside about the body, ask questions about the mind, how the different elements go together, how the mind can take even good things and turn them into suffering. You want to ask questions about that. That's like learning how to work at home. But you can also think of it as some, have something to play with. It's like having a child in the home. You're afraid it's going to go outside. Well, you give it something interesting to play with, and it's not, you don't have to lock the doors. It'll stay. So give the mind good questions to ask as you settle in. But why is it that even though we want happiness, the things we do cause suffering and stress? What's gone wrong? Where are we ignorant? Now we've got a place to stay, a place to rest, a place to play, a place to work. You've even got a kitchen in here. You can feed the mind off that sense of rapture and pleasure that come when the breath is just right. So a lot of ways in which getting the mind to settle down like this is getting it into a home, giving it a home where it can stay, a home to its liking. And that way it will be well grounded.